Everyone loves mashed potatoes. Unfortunately, this staple dish can be tricky to reheat, unless you know what you're doing. From microwaves to ovens to whatever a double boiler is, keep watching for how you should be reheating your mashed potatoes. More mashed potatoes! You've probably heard of double boilers before, especially if you're in the confectionery business. Double boilers are commonly used to melt chocolate or help keep delicate dishes warm in a very gentle and careful manner. While you could purchase a double boiler from just about any place that sells kitchen equipment, it's very easy to improvise one at home, and it should provide a good way to reheat mashed potatoes without drying them out. First, you should fill a pan or a pot with water and allow it to simmer. Then, place a heat-proof bowl on top of it, just like you would if you were melting chocolate. Add your cold mashed potatoes and frequently stir, adding room-temperature milk or butter, using the steam from the water to reheat the pre-cooked potatoes. You shouldn't stir constantly, however, as this will result in the potatoes taking on a glue-like texture. Once the potatoes are sufficiently warmed, they are once again ready to serve. If you're still not sold on a double boiler, you'll be happy to know you can use your own oven to reheat potatoes too, just as you would any other type of food. The drawback, however, is that it's not as quick as heating them on the stovetop or in the microwave, taking about 30 minutes to prepare. Still, the oven method not only prevents the loss of moisture that would occur in a microwave, but also allows you to add flavors such as cheese or sour cream during the reheating process. First, you should add your cold mashed potatoes, milk, and butter into a well-buttered oven-safe container. This container should be covered in foil and then placed into a 325-degree oven. Throughout the next 30 minutes, the potatoes must be checked frequently, so you can't simply put them in and leave. If the potatoes look dry, simply add more milk and butter. If the potatoes are cold in some spots or the butter isn't spreading, give them a quick stir. While this is a pretty lengthy method to reheat your mashed potatoes, it will yield a far more consistent and creamier taste than simply tossing them in the microwave. Although it might not be your go-to option, the microwave is still a very good way to reheat your leftovers. It makes a cook's life easy. Of course, good help is still hard to find. Fill up a microwave-safe bowl with your cold mashed potatoes and some butter, as you usually would. Then, place a microwave-safe plate on top of the bowl and microwave for 15 seconds, removing the plate and then stirring the potatoes. Repeat this microwaving process in short bursts and stir until the potatoes are warm. The plate will help prevent moisture loss, although more butter can be added if need be. This is by far the quickest method of reheating mashed potatoes, but it's also an incredibly finicky process that can result in anything from perfect potatoes to dried, flavorless lumps or gummy, soupy paste. To be clear, the make-ahead technique isn't technically a method for reheating your mashed potatoes. It's more a way of making mashed potatoes quickly and easily at any given moment. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. You should first cube or dice the potatoes, boiling them over the stove and then refrigerating them. When the time comes to prepare your mashed potatoes, remove the pre-prepared dish and, in a pan over low heat, add hot milk, cream, and butter until the potatoes are mashed. Using this method, you could have fresh mashed potatoes in only a few minutes. Bon Appetit recommends heating the milk and cream first while putting the potatoes and butter through a ricer to keep the potatoes as smooth as possible. Meanwhile, Simply Recipes suggests using cream cheese and yogurt to ensure the potatoes are extra creamy, and then baking the dish in the oven to give it a light golden brown crust. Either way, the result will be the same, a bowl of mashed potatoes you'll never forget. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.